Welcome back to The Secret Life of Rachel, where I have nice lights I've upgraded for you kids and me. It's nice, it's like Christmas, but January. Cool! So today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my pin collection because I'm obsessed. It all started like three months ago when I was watching a Connor Franta video about how to spice up your, your style. And I thought, I need this. And pins was one of the examples and I didn't even like realize that wearing pins on your clothes was like a, like a thing. It is. I love it. I store mine in this delightful Honeydukes jar, which if you're not familiar is the candy shop from Harry Potter in Hogsmeade, and I got it in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. And it had like kind of nasty candy in it. It was like candy, but it had weird chocolate on the inside, and I don't think fruity and chocolate should ever mix. So I wasn't a big fan, but I kind of just emptied it out and filled it with my lovely pins. I love pins because every pin has a story. They're always interesting, and I wish everybody wore pins so that it could be like, cool pin, tell me about it. Well, here we are today. I'm gonna tell you about it. We're gonna start with the first pin I ever got. This Canada pin, because I went to Canada with my family in May of 2016, and we went to Bouchard Gardens and there was this hat, pin, t-shirt deal. And I didn't really care about the pin, but now I do. The next pin that I got was also on that Canada trip. I guess it's more of a button than a pin. It is from the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park and I am a rainforest explorer, so pretty official. Basically, at the Suspension Bridge Park, they had this booklet that you could answer questions in about Canada and trees and squirrels. And if you answered all the questions correctly, you would get a pin and it was most definitely for children. There's no doubt about it that I was far too old for it, but I just did it anyway because the pins were sick and also I love to learn. I didn't even get all the questions right. One of the things was like, what region of Canada produces the best maple syrup? And I said, the west, and that is not true. It is the east. Anyway, they still gave me the pin, probably because I was 16 and it'd be sad if they didn't. Cool button, nonetheless. The next pin that I got was just on Etsy. It is a Loch Ness Rex. I just thought it was cool. There's a theory out there that the Loch Ness Monster was actually a dinosaur that's just left over living in the Loch Ness and it, it's not that plausible, but I think it's fun. This <laughs> is the most tender pin. This is the Ellie badge from Up. I went to a camp and it was Up themed and we got these at the kind of camp wrap up party and honestly, kind of makes me emotional. <laughs> this button I stole from my library because I was in there and there was just a pile of these optimism buttons on, on the table and I stole one. They were probably for handing out. Do I consider myself an optimist just because I possess this button? Yes. This fish pin I got on Etsy and I think it, it's like, it's one of a kind. I think it was someone on Etsy that was like, oh, I gotta get rid of this old fish pin. I think it's sick. I like the size of it. It fits very nicely and discreetly into a lot of things that I wear, as opposed to like some of the bigger pins that really don't. Also, I have a passion for betta fish. I love them. And this is not a betta fish, but it's still cool. It's a fish pin. The next two are kind of a set. They are the Kick the PJ merch pins that I'm obsessed with. We have the Lullaby Cube from, the, he, he made a video about the Lullaby Cube. The gist of it is, a cube that takes your weird dream thoughts so you can sleep peacefully. I really liked the idea of it and I just, it's such an intricate pin, there's so much detail on the side and it's just cool. People will see it and if you're not a fan of Kick the PJ then it's like, oh, cool box thing. If you are a fan of Kick the PJ it's like, I love merch like that because it's like we're in the secret club. Speaking of clubs, Federation, Tiny Planet Explorer Federation member. I am one. I have the pin. I love this pin because it's got the little rocket. It's got the little planet. It looks good on stuff like this circle. It's just very nice. It, it pleases
pleases me. The next two have more of a story behind them than then I wear them, but I keep them for the story. So they're American Eagle pins. I'm not all about the product placement, but my best friend Jill gave them to me for my birthday because she saw them at American Eagle and they were just kind of like for free. They were just kind of giving out the pins. She just knew that I loved pins. I had started my pin collecting phase, so she grabbed them for me. Will I wear them? Probably not. <laughs> but do they make me think of Jill and how she took my interest to heart? Art. Absolutely. So I will absolutely keep them. The next two I also got for my birthday and they're basically the same thing, but I will point out some very key differences. So there's this button and this enamel pin and they are both astronaut cats. Basically the same cat. But as you will see, the enamel pin is cool. I love the look of enamel pins much more than buttons. I wear them more often. They just feel cool. But this button I had to have, because if you will look in the helmet of the, the space astronaut cat, it is a fishbowl with a little beta fish swimming around, and it's just, it's all the things I love combined. It's got the beta fish, it's got a cat, it's got space, it's quirky and it's cool and I just love it. People on the street are like, dang, she loves cats in space. I do. They know me, just from a picture. Our last pin today I acquired most recently on a cross-country trip that we took to California and we were on the pier and I saw this and I thought, dang, that is so circular and just nice. That's the pin for me. So Santa Monica has a lovely sunset on it. I love the round pin. They're just circular and nice. They look so nice. That is all of the pins that I have. I hope to get more. They're so cool and fun. I hope that you have a delightful day. I hope that you have cool pins and that you like them as much as I like my pins. So thank you for watching. I will see you next week or not. Spontaneous Rachel. Bye! <laughs>